Good day and welcome to Phillip Island, land of the penguins. This is also home to the big wave. It welcomes people to the island. I've got my wheels, let's head to the beach. On today's cooking adventure here at the beach, I'm going to be looking to catch some seafood. To do that, I'm going to be using an ancient tribal dance my great grandfather taught me to draw seafood to the shore. Crikey, look over there, look what I've brought to the shore. Got him! Crooked Island crap! Welcome to the kitchen. Today we're going to be making crocodile and crab kebabs. I've caught crabs before, but never this big. I've deconstructed the crocodile. I've got my crocodile meat and the crocodile eye. We like to keep things simple here on Steve's cooking adventures. So there's three steps for this dish. The first step is shake it. I want to keep peace with nature. That was a good old fight back there on the beach. So I'm going to shake his hand, let him know we're still friends. And this is helping to tenderize the meat. Today, we get to use a brand new tool. Step two is drill it. I've got my gear on. We're ready to start constructing the kebab. Turn the crab claw over. You have to be careful of these spikes. They're deadly. Once the crab is turned over, we're going to be using the chunkiest bit of the meat, the claw. I'm going to then snap this bit off. This is the bit we're going to use for the kebab. We're going to be piercing a hole in the bottom of the crab claw so it can fit on the kebab stick. We're now going to be reconstructing our deconstructed crocodile. Step three is poke it. Begin with a kebab skewer. This is going to be the spine of our kebab. Then I'm going to be getting some of this gamey crocodile meat and just simply piercing it through onto the kebab skewer. I'm putting one piece on and then a second piece. Then I'm going to be very carefully piercing through the crocodile eye. Perfect. Our final part of the construction is to add that crab claw on the end of the kebab. There we have it, our crocodile and crab kebab. You could say cack if you wanted to be a bit gangster. Cack, crocodile and crab. So, um, crocodile and crab, our cack kebabs. Let's get them on the barbie. After about five minutes on each side, when you can see the crocodile is nice and brown, the crocodile and crab kebab should be ready to take off the barbecue. Crocodile and crab kebabs, get down to the beach today and see if you can catch your own. <laughs> 